Hi, I'm Kippy from KippyAtHome.com. Thank you for joining us today as we replace, remove, and install new beautiful windows that'll be energy efficient and save money and add to the value of your home. My husband's here to show you how to get it done in the easiest way possible. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any more of our updates. All right, let's get started. As you can see, we gathered our tools here and yet there's a link below that will list all the tools we use in this project. First step, remove the low, lower sash by unlocking the, the latches on in in both sides of the frame and pushing the window all the way to the top position. Once you get it removed from the support springs, you can push the window to one side and wiggle it out of the spot and remove the sash. At this point, remove any loose hardware. Now we remove the splines around the upper glass. To apply the spline, you might use a screwdriver or a pliers to remove these splines. Now we use the heat gun to warm up the glazing around the upper window and a putty knife to remove it. And we loosen up that sealant. Once you get all the way around the sides and the top, that glass will be loose enough to just pop out of place. And be careful not to cut yourself. Now it's time to demolition the frames. Remove as much of the structure as you can and you'll have to pull the frame from the attaching flange to the framing using pry tools and any other large hammer that you can get a hold of. At this point I removed the drywall returns by removing the trim around there and removing the drywall. Now it's time to remove the stool or the sill and get that out of the way and then also the apron which is just below that. Continue to pry on the frame until it is all detached and collapsed. Keep prying until it busts loose all the way around and then pull the frame from the opening. One last little bit there and it should be loose. A couple more taps and there she goes. Now we clean up the edges around the sill in the sides and clean off the mortar around the brick. You have to have a clean smooth surface to slide the new window in. Remove all the extra edges and anything that would, would impede you getting the new window in. I use the 5-in-1 tool to remove the extra caulk sealant all around the brick edge. And then the final cleanup I use an angle grinder with a masonry disc in it to grind off and smooth the surface and feather it back a little bit to make the installation of the new window a little bit easier. Use a vacuum to clean up all the dust and debris and get a good clean surface. You'll want to use a sill cover to prevent water from seeping down into your framing. I use the tar paper in this event. You can use different types of products available at your Home Depot or other home improvement stores. Fit this covering into place to make a good seal of your sill. You want to be able to, be able to tuck that edge down along between the brick and the framing so any, if any water gets in there, it'll run down between the brick and the framing of the house. Now we'll apply a bead of silicone in the corners and along that edge to provide a watertight seal. About two inches along either corner and then a bead across the length of the sill. Our window had a flange on it so we had to use a utility knife to remove the flange. By scoring the edge along the window frame on both sides, it will enable you to remove the flange 
from the window. Once the flange is uh, cleaned up and trimmed up evenly or all on the edges, you're ready to install the window. You want to hold your window up against the frame and there's just a test fit to see if it's going to go in place okay. And now we're going to apply a bead of silicone on top of our covering for our windowsill. Go up the, a couple inches on either side and a bead all the way across the bottom of the sill on top of your sill protection, protection material. Our window didn't want to go in all the way so we had to go back and do a little bit of grinding along the brick's edge so I put a masonry grinding wheel in there and feathered that edge back just enough to allow us to get our window in place. With the lower sash in the up position so we have something to hang on to, we slide the window into place and we adjust it to the outside edge. I use the remnants of the caulk line that was there from the previous window to determine where it will be in our window opening. I used a pry bar to, to push it into place and to get it up on top of that lip of the brick mold and a little hammer and uh, a block to give it a little bit of encouragement to push it where it needed to be. I used a four foot level to make sure it was level in the opening and that my frame wasn't uh, distorted. I also used a speed square in the corners to see that my window was not out of square. One last check to make sure the window is where I want it to be in all the corners and make sure that the lower sash will go up and down and the window will lock. Now I use a pre-drill countersink and I locate my screw holes and pre-drill just enough that my screw heads will be flush or even with the edge of the frame and I use uh, number 10 two inch screws stainless steel for this application if you don't use the stainless steel you might have uh, the rust marks here in a few years and you won't like that I put my first screw in the center just to hold it in place and just put it in flush and make sure you don't bend your framing out of shape. Then I pre-drilled the bottom corners and put screws in those. And from there I went work my way up the sides and put one every 16 inches. Be sure not to over tighten them and push your frame out of square or distort the frame. And then I put my last two screws in uh, on the top edge on either corner, pre-drilling and installing those screws. Now along the gaps on either side and at the bottom, I put this great stuff, insulation foam where there was gaps. Do not overuse the spray foam. It will go everywhere. The spray foam will ooze out a little bit and you can trim off the excess once it is set up. Now we go to the exterior and use a exterior grade white silicone caulk to seal our edges along the brick. You want to put a nice bead of caulk there and get a good seal all the way around and you can see that I stop at each joint and make sure I fill the joint up along the brick. As you're applying your caulk you're going to want to smooth it and make sure you do not fill the weep holes along the bottom edge of the window. That's where your water will drain out. You can see on each corner there's a little dark spot there. That's the weep holes for water to drain out of your sill. In order to get the aluminum trim piece on the top of the window back in, we had to remove a little bit of the soffit. So we pulled the vinyl loose and it was dirty. And we got in there and we put the aluminum cover that 
top the top of the window. Now we'll reinstall the soffit pieces and close it back up. And there's our finished window installed and we will cover uh, the trim insulation on our next video. Thanks so much for joining us for this amazing window transformation and part, part of our home makeover series so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos all right y'all happy diying see you soon